Okay, I look a little bit like a pirate. <laughs> Magnifique. Does something rip? Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to the Disney Channel. Just kidding, welcome back to Clever Style. You guys know at Clever, we love to dress like some of our favorite celebrities. You know, we've done Billie Eilish, Zendaya, we've done all these awesome people. Today, Madeline and I are going to be recreating our favorite 2000s icon. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. This is probably gonna be my favorite episode to date. I'm just gonna go on a limb and say that. There's a trend going around on TikTok where people are dressing how they would if they were in a 2000s TV or movie. <laughs> So we're not just doing any kind of celeb twinning. We wanted to do it from a movie that really inspired us when we were growing up. And we have to do it on a budget. So we are each gonna be recreating two looks and they each have to be under $100. If this is something that I have been very much looking forward to and that is impersonating Hilary Duff. So today I'm really excited because I am going to be celeb twinning with Passport to Paris. Well, let's get shopping, because this is what dreams are made of. Mary Kate and Ashley were two icons to me. Like, they had the perfect hair, they were so cute, they had great style. Passport to Paris I wanted to do specifically because I think out of all their movies, that was the one that like most people remember, and I think they also had some really good fashion choices in that one. So I really like this photo because it just is like the perfect early 2000s outfit moment. Like they have their little chokers on. One looks like it's straight up puka shells. Um, they have the little like butterfly clip right here, which was such a staple. They have these very cute, very like early 2000s dresses that I remember as a kid trying to shop for it like Macy's with my mom and it was always kind of this rouged bust or something floral, very brightly colored. And then it looks like Mary Kate's holding like a cute little summer bag because she's like, I'm in Paris. And of course they have their passports, Passport to Paris. Recreating movie outfits is kind of this weird hobby of mine and it's been heightened in the quarantine. I like just did one for Jennifer's body recently and I feel like I'm pretty good at this. So I'm gonna do Hilary Duff in A Cinderella Story. And obviously A Cinderella Story has so many iconic scenes and monologues and lines and she is just like a 2000s queen. All right, so there's this scene, it's the iconic scene in the movie where she confronts Chad Michael Murray and she is wearing low rise, like extreme low rise hip hugger jeans that are like epitome of the 2000s fashion and she's wearing like a satin camisole with lace right here. That is also so 2000s. With the hip hugger jeans, you like couldn't sit down or bend over. People could always see your underwear when you were like sitting in class. That's what I gotta do, I gotta do it. And you know, maybe, maybe I have the monologue memorized and maybe I'll recreate that scene. So I think for almost everything, I'm just gonna kind of go to Amazon. Straw bags on Amazon are a dime a dozen. You can get a ton of different styles for like 20 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead, oh I like this one. This one's $32, but I like it. We're gonna get it! Okay, the reason I like getting chokers on Amazon is because they come in packs, so you can get like a bunch of different styles, and that's really helpful because I'm shopping chokers for two different looks for two different girls. So I want something that maybe has like some pearl on it while also having like a puka shell vibe, done. And these are like $15 for a pack of nine. Then we're gonna look for little like hair clips. Is it like a butterfly clip? Okay, hair clips, done. Those are like literally $3. Yes, we're getting places. Done, okay, now a dress I saw the other day that I actually think is gonna work perfectly. It's from Princess Polly. It's like this very like rouge kind of 90s dress and I think that that is gonna be perfect. It's kind of like a little combination of both of the girls' dresses. I have a passport, so we're good on that, thank God. I'm gonna check thread up. It's so funny, this is vintage, right? Like, they do not make low rise, hip hugger, slight flare jeans. All right, now as for her top, I really want it to be not modern at all. I want like a true 2000s. So that means it's not super fitted. 
the lace is just like chunky. So I, I think I have a couple options. It's hard to tell what the material is. So because this is so cheap and I'm way under budget already, I'm gonna get a couple of these different camis and see which color matches best. I'm really nervous. You just never know what is gonna come from Amazon or even like a used thrifting website. Madeline should be so proud of me. I'm buying used clothes. So now we wait. We wait for everything to come in the mail and then we do a little fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show at lunch. Several days later. You guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is literally, I'm more excited than if this was my wedding day. Oh my God, Linus looks too cute. He's concerned. Okay, so all of uh, our items have arrived and I have some decisions to make and I actually realized I have some DIYing to do. I nailed the shopping, everything came in and looks magnifique. Okay, so I kind of made a mistake. Um, when I was re-watching the movie for research, obviously, and fun, um, I realized that the scene that I wanted to recreate where she is talking to Chad Michael Murray in the locker room. She's wearing a, like a maroon cardigan over her blue cami. All right, I have to make this into a jacket to do the dove crop. Go time. All right, you guys, are you ready for the big reveal of outfit number one? Ah! I wanna make sure you guys can fully understand the magnitude of this look. Also, I really wish I was in Paris for this. Oh my God, the Mona Lisa. <laughs> you got your passport, cause you gotta get your passport to Paris. Duh. We have a sun bag or like a straw bag. Accessories are lovely white puka shellish necklace because it was the early 2000s and that's all that matters. Then we have the iconic little, little butterfly clip and I really like these because it came in a pack of like 20. This dress is like, it embodies everything that the Olsen twins stand for. The rouge top was so like key for that time. This kind of square neckline, the necklace with the dress, the color of it. Only thing is that the, the lining of this dress just keeps writing up my butt. Guys, overall, I'm so impressed with myself with this look. Um, I wanted to quickly change up the hairstyle because there is a scene in the movie that I think it's Ashley is wearing this pretty much like this whole look. And she has her hair a little differently and we are gonna go ahead and recreate that scene because we do not go home, we go big. I'm also home, but you get the idea. Remember the true test. Yep, can they tell us apart? If not, what's my team? And then the boys walk up and they're like, Melanie. That's the whole scene. It, this is trippy. I'm looking in the mirror and I'm freaking out because it is pretty darn spot on. This is the duff. Okay, so I got these jeans. They are American Eagle circa 2003. I got them from Thread Up. Cami is from Poshmark. Top, I had to DIY myself because I forgot to get this. I was definitely way under budget, mostly because I made one of the pieces from scratch. This is so 2000s. Like I feel like Ashley Simpson trying to be Hilary Duff. I think I really did this look justice. I'm very happy with it. This is the scene that I really wanted to recreate of Hilary. She is wearing this, talking to Chad Michael Murray in the locker room. It is a famous scene. Channel the Duff, channel Hilary. She does a lot of, so she does a lot of this. And she always inhales before she says something emotional. You just listen. No, you listen. You turned out to be exactly who I thought you were. I never pretended to be somebody else. It's been me all along. And it was me who was hurt in front of everybody. Look, I didn't come here to yell at you, okay? I came to tell you that I know what it feels like to be afraid to show who you are. I know that guy that sent those emails is somewhere down inside of you. But I can't wait for him. Because waiting for you is like waiting for rain in this drought. Useless and disappointing. I 
did it all from memory. Look at that. I didn't think I was gonna be able to. I feel pretty good about this outfit. It's the next one that I'm a little nervous for. So, here we go. The next outfit I'm gonna be recreating and shopping for is gonna be hard to choose from. I like this photo because it features both of the girls in very two like different looks. When I was growing up, I think I was way more into like the pink look because it was just a little bit more girly. As I'm getting older, I kind of like um, Mary Kate's look. I think she just looks really hip and edgy. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is sneak in an extra accessory from Ashley's look. I'm gonna see if I can find something similar to that headband on Amazon and maybe try to do both girls. Cause I already have this like pink halter top that I think will work really well for this look. We're gonna need blue bandana, choker, fluffy Greek top, yellow rose, and just some jeans. Like very simple actually. And again, these haircuts just so cute on them. If you want something done right, you've got to do both Olsen twins. All right, let's get to shopping. Obviously for a Cinderella story, I have to go with her big ball gown because the whole movie is centered around her going to this Halloween dance. But I only have $100 to spend. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, because I need the bangs, I need the crown. She has pink Converse on in the movie poster. So, oh, I need a flip phone. I bet Madeline has a flip phone. Now let's go to our other little photo where they're holding the roses. So I'm gonna need to get roses, like probably fake ones. So I'm just gonna search like fake yellow rose. Oh, that's a thing. Okay, cute. Great, done. Pink shirt I already have. Okay, we're gonna look for like a pink floral headband. It's very Coachella. Perfect. Okay, now we need like a sky blue bandana. Throwing it in the bag. Okay, the white shirt, I don't love the one that she's wearing. I mean, I like it on her, but I feel like it's not gonna be flattering on me. So I am just gonna kind of search, like what would you even search? Let's do like Greek white ruffled top. Where it's, oh, this one's kind of it. Okay, and she's just wearing some jeans, so that outfit's pretty much done. Am I done? I happen to know that you can buy like wedding gowns or quinceanera gowns on Amazon, I've already done this for a costume before, so, and I know you can get them for under $100, so that's good. If I spend everything on the dress and the crown, and then I don't have pink Converse, but you know who does? My husband. So that'll save me some money, I think I'll wear that. All right, well, we'll be back. Eventually. All right, you guys, the blue bandana is officially on and I already look like prison Mike. Worst thing about prison was the was the Dementors. So I just opened the ball gown dress from Amazon. Are you ready to see the reveal? This might be almost my favorite look. Now I need to put my bangs back on, curl my hair, match my makeup like her. This, I'm like, I'm pretty blown away to be totally honest. I hadn't tried on any of these looks before I started filming today. In this scene, um, Mary Kate and Ashley are walking down the street in Paris. It's like their first um, time in Paris. And of course, everywhere they go in every movie, they like meet boys within five seconds of being there. But like, that is what screwed me up. And I remember visiting LA with my parents and being at the Grove and I was like, I was wearing a fedora too, let me just tell you that. And I was like walking down the, the, like the Grove and I was like, yeah, so many boys are like probably looking at me and checking me out and being like, dang, where is she going? You guys. Anyway, okay, so this is the look. I didn't wanna like necessarily get something exactly the same, so I chose to do shorts instead, which I already owned. Black belt, which I already owned. This top was kind of like very inspired by the picture, but I liked that it was just all white. Of course, we had to add the little black choker. And then this was like a cute little sky blue bandana from Amazon. Anyway, I give this outfit a 10 out of 10 because I just feel like it really came together in the most like, current way. Okay guys, I changed into my final look. This was kind of a little bit of a sneak in that I did because we were only supposed to do two looks, but I had the rest of the outfit for the Ashley portion of this. So I had to just order one little quick accessory and do it. So without further ado, here is my look for the same scene, but with Ashley's character. Oh, hello, I'm Ashley. <laughs> I sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. 
it was very like relevant in that time. It was kind of that keyhole like halter top look. It's very early 2000s and very Olsen twins. I did feel like this was the perfect outfit to top off the looks because you have to do both twins. You can't just do one twin. Twin means two, doesn't it? In Italian or Latin or something. So I'm gonna do the recreation of the scene actually when they're, <laughs> when they're in the Louvre. All in all, I am so proud of all of these looks. This was probably one of my favorite videos to shoot. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> this dress is perfect. I I feel, honestly, I feel like with the mask on, I could play Hilary Duff's double in this movie. All out of questions? Do you believe in love at first sight? I'll let you know. That's what she says. Crushed it. I think I like the crown version of this costume more than the mask version. The crown is from Amazon. The dress is from Amazon. The converse is from, the converse are from my husband's closet. I am very pleased with this whole, with this whole getup. So I've got my crown on now, I've got my pink converse on. Before I recreate the movie poster, I obviously need my Chad Michael Murray. Hey Chad. It's weird. My brother's name. Your brother's name is Chad. A little weird. Chad Michael, how about that? He was my right arm. Yeah, so I'm not like leaning to my left. This year. Back up more to so make sure we get the pink shoes in the shot. Okay. I'll keep it down a little more, a smidge more. I'm coming in hot. Okay. Okay. I messed up ground a little bit. <laughs> Hi. I got it. And I'm, I need to sit relaxed. I think I crushed it. I take costumes very seriously. I don't even want to take this off. I love it. Should I get bangs? Should I get married again? Let me know in the comments. Also, who do you think did it the best. I'm sure Madeline kicked butt. So comment below who you think recreated their favorite 2000s icon the best.